I'm really pleased to uh, be elected as the new Police and Crime Commissioner for Merseyside. Um, it's been really exciting, it's been overwhelming, there has been so much information to take in, um, so many challenges to kind of get a handle on, um, but I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into the role um, and hopefully making some real significant change for residents on Merseyside. So I am particularly passionate about um, supporting victims. It was one of the reasons that I stood for election to try and give victims a voice within our criminal justice system, not just with the police, but the whole criminal justice system right through to the courts. I want to make sure that they are getting the support they need to be able to recover from the trauma of crimes that have been committed against them um, and just make sure that they feel like they're getting justice. I want to make communities feel like they have a voice. I want to make sure that they feel they have somebody they can go to that can be a bit of a bridge between the police and between communities. Um, I want them to feel heard. I want them to feel like we're focusing on the things that really matter to them. We're looking at preventing crime as well as tackling it and being proactive and just making sure that they can see that I'm being visible and proactive and, and really kind of speaking up for them. Over the next three years, I want Merseyside to see the value of having a police and crime commissioner, seeing the impact that I can make. I want to get a tackling violence against women and girls strategy. I want to improve relationships, rebuild trust between communities and policing. Um, I want people to feel their voices are being heard. Um, and I just want to feel like I'm making a difference in terms of improving lives and actually keeping people safe.